made a call out for historical questions this week, and we got several responses like this one from Sherry. I would love it if new residents of Idaho learned about how the Hawaii mountains got their name. Hawaii being the old way to call Hawaii, of course, and how it's connected to the mystery. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this your story, Sherry, or are we telling the story? We'll get to that. You kind of just ruined it right there in the pun. Oh, well, we'll get to it. Yes, Hawaii is the old phonetic white man way to say and spell Hawaii. What does that have to do with Idaho, though? Well, it has to do with Captain John Cook, the Canadian fur trade, and the idea that having Hawaiians in your hunting party might make it easier to deal with Native Americans. Tonight, we're getting to know Idaho and how the Pacific Islands played a part in its history. It's the oldest county in Idaho. In 1863, Oahe County was the first to be organized and named. But about that name. That's a whole story, you know. And to help tell it, we asked Eric Garzvo, director of the Oahe County Historical Museum, who's heard this question a time or two. Yeah, it comes up quite a bit. Where does Oahe, you know, how do you say it, how do you spell it, and where does it come from? It comes from a place far away from Idaho. In the early 1800s, the Northwest Fur Company out of Canada went looking for workers from a place legendary British Captain James Cook called Oahe. Around 1818, according to Eric's, Donald McKenzie, working for the company, led an expedition that included three Hawaiians through the Pacific Northwest. They came into the uh, rugged frontier here, so they really forged up the Columbia River and got all the way up into this border of Idaho, Oregon area, and then he separated his crew. The Hawaiians were kept together, and that summer were sent off to set up traps. Mackenzie wrote about it in his journal. And his quote is, uh, three Hawaiis, spelled the way we spell it, Hawaii, went along a small river to trap where no danger was seen. But they must have found some. Probably the, a year later, they were supposed to reconvene with Mackenzie, and they never did. And they located the camp along the small river where they were camping, but they were nowhere to be found. And by at least 1820s, 1821, maps and other fur traders and other people coming out were already using that, the name Owyhee River. And they were writing it on maps. Where so that little river started bearing their name of the lost Hawaiians right away, and it has never changed. And that's how Idaho's first county came to be named after our country's last state. They got lost, and um, but we didn't forget them. Well, just how they were lost, we'd never learned, although some assume and speculated it could have been Native Americans, but that couldn't ever be proven. The county got the name, but first it was the river and then the mountains, and then there was even a stage stop once in Ada County named after it. And as Eric said, even the Snake River wasn't always known as the Snake River, but the Wahis have had the same name since. <laughs>